Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're gonna do a complete tour of Ahwatukee, Arizona. So if you're looking to move or relocate to Phoenix or Ahwatukee or anywhere in the Phoenix metro area, this video is for you. Let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? David Van Ashe here with the Living in Phoenix team. And if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here in Ahwatukee and the greater Phoenix area, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified every time we put out a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls, emails, and text messages every single day from people looking to move and relocate here. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving or relocating here to Ahwatukee or anywhere else in the greater Phoenix area, make Make sure you pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot a quick email, send a text message, days, nights, weekends, we've got your back. We're moving here to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, guys, so I'm here with Pierre O'Brien. He is a local expert on Ahwatukee. He lives in Ahwatukee. He's a realtor here. He knows this area and this these neighborhoods inside and out. Pierre, super excited. Let's get going. Yeah, let's do it. What do most of the people that live here do for a living? Or is this more like a you know retirement type of area or do people work from home? Kind of what's the employment vibe of Ahwatukee like? Well, we're nestled here in a nice spot where the 202 and the 10 kind of meet. So it's really accessible to get around and kind of make yourself to Chandler, Gilbert, Scottsdale, any of the major employment centers. We do have a 55 plus community within Ahwatukee, so there are sort of retirees. It is a kind of a more laid back lifestyle here, but it's an active lifestyle. One where you can, you know, South Mountain as your backyard. So you can come out here, bike ride, walk, hike, and 55 miles of it. Golf is great. There's uh, two major country clubs. There's a lot of places that you can kind of go and driving ranges all around town. So it's nice definitely cater to the golf culture. Okay, well that totally makes sense. So basically, it's a great, great place to live, but if you're gonna you know, be working, most likely you're commuting to Scottsdale or Chandler or you know, somewhere nearby like that. Exactly. Hey, so earlier, Piero, you were telling me that way back when, before you were in real estate, you used to be like a waiter or server at some really high-end restaurants. So it sounds like you had some experience with, uh, you know, fine dining and, you know, wine and good food. What can you tell me about the restaurant scene here in Ahwatukee? Oh, it's amazing. You can get any kind of culinary food you want. There's a nice Asian food scene. There's, you know, Tex-Mex, really popular here in Ahwatukee. And yeah, you can just find any kind of food you want here in all the neighborhoods. And there's a lot of mom and pa owned restaurants. Oh, cool. So local, little, and they have live music. There's a really nice live music scene. Just some of the restaurants here and the nightlife is great. You know, they stay open late. There's food at all hours. So it's really nice and convenient. Awesome. Now, earlier when I was asking about work and whatnot, so would you say like, I mean, maybe I'm not gonna hold you to a certain percentage of the people here, but I mean, as far as retirees or, you know, like an active adult type community is, since we've been out here driving around on this tour, I've seen no less than 10 different people on mountain bikes. And, you know, they, there was a little bit of gray hair out there. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely an active lifestyle community. People here golf, bike ride. They lead an active lifestyle and South Mountain caters to that. There's tons of biking trails, hiking trails, people who just want to walk and go out there as well. Yeah. So there's a real kind of active lifestyle community here. Sweet. Now, I know you're the expert on Ahwatukee, but earlier in another episode, I interviewed you know your colleague Victoria and she is up in Fountain Hills mm -hmm. this has some sort of Fountain Hillish kind of vibes but how is Ahwatukee different or better in your opinion compared to somebody who's looking at out at Fountain Hills I know you're not you don't know everything about Fountain Hills possibly right. but yeah well in your opinion kind of how does this place compare to Fountain Hills well you know Fountain Hills is great it's got the rolling hills similar to Ahwatukee we've got South Mountain so there are those rolling hills and but what's nice about it, Ahwatukee is it's, it's shopping it really, the Ahwatukee Foothills Village has everything you could want. You don't have to leave the neighborhood. It has, you know, you have your Costco's, your major box store markets. You have your little fries, Safeways, and you know, every supermarket you would want in the, in the neighborhood. So it's really convenient. You know, we have all those shopping centers right here and we don't have to leave if you don't want to, which make it really nice. That makes sense. And I did notice that about Fountain Hills was that, you know, they do have some shopping and they have a target a, a scaled down target or whatever, but I mean, I am noticing that there's 
just multiples of shopping centers here. And yeah, you no, know, and obviously the uh, the layout next to the freeways definitely makes a big difference. Yeah. It's really convenient, especially with the 202 and the 10, kind of hugging Awatuki on two different sides. And then South Mountain obviously is the backdrop for both of those. So we're kind of nestled in here and you can hop on either the 202 or the 10, depending on what your commute is. Got it. Making it convenient. Sweet. All right, so we're talking about restaurants, bars, entertainment. What can you tell me about this place, CK's? So CK's is one of your local mom pa shop owned places. And, you know, it's a local sports bar, so uh, you're gonna catch all of your son's games out here. So you're definitely gonna wanna come here. They have live music. The food is amazing. You get your regular bar food, but then they also have some specialty dishes that they do. Really delicious food and open late night. So is this basically gonna, is this basically gonna be like your uh, really high-end dive bar, if you will? Oh yeah, definitely a local watering hole for the locals. And you know, they support all the local teams and then they also support all the local little like high school teams and whatnot. So you see a lot of local Local families come in here during the day. You also see a nice, vibrant nightlife here happening as well. All right, Piero, so shopping centers. I know when you live in a place, like where's the grocery store? Where's the nail salon? Where's all the important stuff, right? right. Now, you know, Awatuki doesn't seem that big, but like how many of these shopping centers are there? Cause this one. Oh man, there's like, like six of them. Like they're all over the place. Like you can't help but drive like five minutes and running into another supermarket. And okay. it's got all the local stores. It's got all the local dining, all the little mom pa shops. It's really great and convenient. Yeah, like the one we're at right now, this is the Fry's Marketplace. But um, I noticed we had Fry's and there was Trader Joe's and then Safeway. Safeway. And Safeway. So we have basically every Every brand of grocery store imaginable and then all of the little shops in between i didn't even recognize one single national chain it looks like a local business is a big thing here yeah local business is huge you know and a lot of them have like a little folksy kind of vibe to them as well okay you know there's a lot of people who ride their not just like bicycles but also like motorcycles like a lot of harley davidson's kind of coasting with the south mountain backdrop it's just oh, a great man. town to just kind of you know take your bike out and you know stay in the sun cool We're in Lakewood neighborhood. This is a gorgeous neighborhood with a man-made lake. We have gorgeous fountains and people have docks. You can have your own boat docked right here. There's a boat ramp here that we're close to. So you can launch in paddle boards, kayaks. I mean, you can actually use this lake. All right, so here in the Lakewood neighborhood, is it just one very large lake or kind of how's the, how's this water system set up? Oh, there's, there's a couple of them actually. So this one connects to another one, but they're all meant so that you can, you know, they filter out the water so that way it's clean. There are fish that they put in here. So there's fish in the water as well, but it's all catch and release here. Okay. They want to maintain the waters here, try to keep them as clean as possible so that people can use them. There's actual boats docked in the water, like in people's backyards. So you can take your paddleboard, your kayak, you can walk. There's a nice walking path around the lake, which is what we're on right now. Oh, you can. So yeah, so people do morning runs, morning jogs, your morning walk, nice, healthy living, you know, outdoor living kind of like Awatuki is. This is amazing. I know, especially for the lake, there's several other neighborhoods in the general region that have man-made lakes like this, but as far as I know, none of them allow paddle boards or, you know, kayaks or things like that. You have to, you know, you can do like your pontoon boats, but the fact that you can go out on a paddle board early in the morning and watch the, the sunrise or maybe the sunset over the South Mountains over here, holy smoke, man. This is one crazy hidden gem. Yeah. So Lakewood, let's drive through a little bit and kind of get a look at some of these houses, but are there any areas of this neighborhood that are gated? No, no, Awatuki is in a big gated community neighborhood. You know, it's really safe. It's got one of the best school districts, if not the best school district in the Phoenix Valley. And, uh, you know, we're nestled here between the 202 and the 10 with South Mountain as the backdrop and it's safe. It, so we don't see a lot of gated communities. That's just not a thing here. It's a really safe community to live in. Awesome. So this neighborhood is called Equestrian Estates? Equestrian Estates. A lot of these homes, were kind of made so that you could own horses and there are paths behind the homes, alleyways so that you can get your horses out and you know put, load them up into a trailer. So they make it nice and easy and convenient for people who have horses to do that. For another video we have, we toured Circle G Ranches, which is in Tempe, right next door to Awatuki and Chandler. And they have a similar concept. They call them bridal paths. Um, let me just pull up 
here, I see the sign of what you're talking about. Horse trails. So it's basically like a long alley that goes behind the homes. How cool is that? If you're on horseback, you can see over the neighbor's fences, wave at them, say hi. Yeah. <laughs> what a lifestyle. This is incredible. Right, right. I mean, active lifestyle, again, you know, that's the theme here in Nakuatuki. Whether you're old or young, you're going to have that active lifestyle, be it horses or bikes or hiking trails or walking paths. I mean, it's just geared for that active lifestyle. So one of the things that I especially love about Awatuki is a lot of people don't know about it. It's kind of this hidden gem, this hidden neighborhood. To me is to Phoenix what Beverly Hills is to LA. You know, it's nestled right here up against South Mountain. It's gorgeous views, active lifestyle, and you know, palm trees for days. I mean, gorgeous homes like this home right here, just stunning. Palm trees all over the neighborhood. This is equestrian estates. So you're gonna see these were originally horse properties. They were originally made so that you had land for days. So big lots, lots of convenient homes made so that you could have your horses roam in the backyard. And then a lot of the roads here are built so that way you can have, you know, those gorgeous horses roaming the neighborhoods. Another thing that I like is that these homes, none of them are the same. They're all gorgeous, they're all unique, and they all have their own personality. You don't see one home similar to the next. All of these are different in nature and builders, people were building their dream homes here. And why wouldn't you build your dream home here? I mean, this is just perfect. Check that out. That is your backyard. You know, various neighborhoods in Phoenix metro area are, are going to be all made by the same builder. You're going to find homes that are all cookie cutter. They're not going to have any personality. Whereas here in Awatuki, especially in this equestrian estates neighborhood, every single one was somebody's dream home. All these homes were built and made and customized by the original builders who made them. And you'll find whatever you like. Are you looking for a Spanish style home in Awatuki, roomy with a big lot? Here you go. Are you looking for something more modern with a nice crisper window feel, here you go. All right, so Piero, tell us a little bit about where we're gonna go today. What are we expecting to see? So we're going to South Mountain and we're gonna check out some of the hiking trails. There's over 55 miles of hiking in South Mountain. So, and it's right here in your backyard. Beautiful Awatuki neighborhood, outdoor living, healthy lifestyle. Awesome, okay, let's head there right now. Awesome. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of neighborhood where you can just active lifestyle is abundant. Like I, you, you'd feel weird not being active if you lived here, I feel like. Oh yeah, the social life is definitely an active social life. So you go for walks with your neighbors, you see your neighbors out there walking their dogs, doing the normal active lifestyle living and it's Arizona. So it's beautiful 90% of the year, just gorgeous sun. You don't have to worry about worrying about your health. You want to be outside. You want to be in these surroundings. And Lakewood is one of those gorgeous neighborhoods where not only do you have South Mountain as your view, but you have the man-made lake. Wow. These neighborhoods are beautiful. There's just rolling hills all over the place and you're coming off of South Mountain. So you get these little pocket neighborhoods where on all sides you're surrounded by South Mountain or some little section of South Mountain that's kind of broken off and you have nature. I mean, you're gonna see some javelinas, you're gonna see some some coyotes that come off the mountain. So, I mean, there is, you know, you're right up against nature, so you're definitely gonna see nature in your neighborhood. I got, I got a question, what is a javelina? Javelina is a, a little little piggy. <laughs> wild, like wild pigs? Wild pigs, like a little wild pig. I had no pig. idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they come in your yard, what are they? Um... They come in the neighborhoods, they're just like, you know, looking for food. Usually, mostly you see the, the coyotes late night, they're kind of strolling around the neighborhood and, and you know there's a lot of rabbits around here nice desert rabbits wild hares okay and so you'll see those all over I see them on my front front lawn every time I come home okay gotcha so living in Awatuki you are definitely part of nature especially with the South Mountain Park I it's so close to everything that you don't think of this as being out in nature but right. Okay. Right. So Kyrene School District is actually number one in the Phoenix Metro. Chandler's number two. And Kyrene encompasses part all of Awatuki and various parts of Chandler as well as the Kyrene School District and then Chandler School District on its own. And both of those are one and two respectively. They kind of trade off between the two of them. So school districts are important here. So we're seeing a lot more young families move into these areas where it was kind of an older folksy feel. We're seeing young families 
families move in because they're looking for that better school district for their kids. I had no idea. And, you know, if you start Googling online, I think, you know, Arizona doesn't get the best press for schools in general, I think. However different organizations rank them, but last I checked, like Arizona as a state, schools are like number 45. I don't know. I mean, obviously you can't necessarily stereotype an entire state on schools, but it's good to know that the schools here, at least in uh, Ahwatukee and, and West Chandler are, are rocking it. Exactly, for sure. Okay, so if we're looking for luxury and luxury homes, this is the neighborhood? Oh, uh, this is definitely the neighborhood in Ahwatukee. Like Millionaire Row, it's just gonna have like huge spacious lots with right up against South Mountain. I mean, literally your backyard is the South Mountain. Equestrian Road here used to to have a lot of ranches, it used to have a lot of horse properties, but now that with, you know Phoenix is growing, we're definitely seeing those ranch houses turned into mansions, into luxury homes, luxury buildings. And so if you're looking for kind of that luxury lifestyle and with that nestled right here in this quiet neighborhood of Ahwatukee, this is where you want to be. Got it. As far as mountain views, I'd say this definitely compares with like North Scottsdale Cave Creek in a way. It's different, but you definitely got those views. But how, how is it different? Um, uh, you know, this neighborhood is its very quiet. You're gonna get the rolling hills kind of peppered throughout the neighborhood. But I, I like it because you have the 202, you have the 10, they're really accessible. So you can get anywhere in the valley just by hopping on one of those major thoroughfares. And at the same time, when you come back here, there's no traffic, there's nobody back here. We're kind of off the beaten path, but at the same time, we're on that beaten path. Wow, no, I, I think this is probably one of the lesser known areas of the Phoenix Valley, as I've been and researching myself and interviewing other members of our team who specialize in these different pockets. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't feel like a lot of people know about Ahwatukee. Oh no, Ahwatukee and, and, and people who live in Ahwatukee, myself included, we want to keep it that way. It's, a nice, <laughs> it's got that nice homey feel. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, Piero, but every, <laughs> we're, we're on YouTube right now. Oh, and yeah. every, everybody knows. Secrets out. These homes are gorgeous. You name it. You want Spanish style front wow factor, curb appeal, all these homes have it. They're you, just amazing. You know what I love about this? There are some brand new luxury home neighborhoods, especially like in South Chandler and Gilbert, but they're all built by the same builder, more or less. And so even though they're all gorgeous, gorgeous properties, they're all so similar that, I, mean, I hate to say it, but I feel like there's less character, but here you've got- Character like, for days. Every, I mean, every house is custom. Every house is built by a different builder. You got different styles, different. This is incredible. Like I had no idea. I've lived here for years and years, not in Ahwatukee, but I'd never, I had no idea this neighborhood is here. This oh, is yeah. amazing. So if you're thinking about buying a home in a neighborhood like this here in Ahwatukee, would definitely pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us an email, send us that text message. Piero, a lot of times he knows about these properties well before they actually hit the market. Oftentimes, especially when it comes to these kind of luxury properties, it's not uncommon to want an elevated sense of privacy. So sometimes these kinds of properties do not hit the internet. They're not on Zillow, they're not on realtor.com. You have to get in touch with a competent agent especially somebody who actually lives here and interacts with these owners and homeowners every single day. Give us a call, shoot us an email, send a text message. Days, nights, weekends, Piero is here. We've got your back, but moving here anywhere in Ahwatukee and the greater Phoenix area. So this is Pecos Park. What can you tell me about this place? Pecos Park is a, another wonderful example of that active outdoor living. It's got tennis courts, pickleball courts. It's got a skate park, a splash zone. It's got a community pool, a senior center, anything you want for active living it's here. People come here it's right off the freeway. So, you know, they built it out. It's got wonderful grass fields. It's even got a dog park. So if you want to bring oh, your dog here and just kind of sit out in the sun and take in the rays, this is the place to go. Sweet. Well, I can't wait to check out the rest of it. Let's go. All right, so what I've seen so far about uh, Ahwatukee, so is Ahwatukee a town or is it part of Phoenix exactly? Or what is? It's part of Phoenix. It's uh, Ahwatukee is its own city, kind of within the city. So it's just kind of nestled in the triangle between the 10, the 202 on the south end, and then you have uh, South Mountain going kind of northeast. Okay. And so it's just this little triangle nestled in there. Wonderful community that has, you know, a lot of outdoor kind of activity. 
So let's say you're 24-7 um, outdoors and or let's say it's Tuesday afternoon and you're retired and you're bored and it's 110 degrees in July. What kind of fun indoor activities are there to do? Well, we have main event. Main event's one of those like arcade, bowling alley, places where you can go. It's indoor, it's air conditioned, there's laser tag. There's a, obviously a nice sports bar built into it. So adults, kids, you name it, they can go indoors, stay in that beautiful air conditioned environment environment and still kind of be active like and still entertain yourself you can sit at the bar and just have a beer and watch your local sports now i know just to the south of awatuki is the uh the indian reservation they have a casino or shopping or what kind oh of yeah uh wild horse pass casino uh it's a resort as well so there's hotels there's suites there's gambling there's even a top golf it's a virtual top golf okay but there's a top golf there so if you want to work on your golf game you can go there and do the virtual it's a nice little Little lounge as well. How far is that? A rock throw away. I mean, literally five minute drive from Awatuki. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. There's a pool bar. Yeah, they throw pool parties with guest DJs. And so it's like almost like a Las Vegas style oh yeah, quality casino. Like this is not your typical, I don't mean to sound offensive because I, I grew up on an Indian reservation in Washington state, but I remember when I was a little kid, what was called an Indian casino is totally different than what I saw when I went to Las Vegas for the first time. But I think, you know, times have changed and the quality and of entertainment and things have changed too. But so here you can expect, sounds like a pretty high level of entertainment. Oh yeah, there's the resort section, which, you know, you, you have, uh, casitas and high rollers and you get cabanas and there's uh, not just one hotel on the reservation here for Wild Horse Pass, there's also the Sheridan. The Sheridan has uh, Kai, which is the only four star restaurant in Phoenix. About, you know, $250 a, a person for dinner. It's got a spa that's a desert spa. And so they do hot stone treatments. They, they just do the work. There's a personal masseuse on hand at all times. So this has really been set up to be a resort Las Vegas style one-stop shop. Wow, talk about a staycation. So live in Awatuki, have a house overlooking South Mountain, spend a three-day weekend five minutes away at the resort. Yeah, and it even <laughs> has its own golf club. Like Whirlwind Golf Club is really renowned as one of the can't-miss golf courses in Phoenix. Okay. So people, we get people who come down from Scottsdale wanting to play at Whirlwind, and it's just stunning. You can see the, the gorgeous landscape, especially once you're at the top of that casino, you can kind of get a lay of the land. Got it, got it. No, this is incredible. So the Phoenix Premium Outlets, what kind of stores can we expect to see here? Oh man, all your major shopping. You have Old Navy, you have your, your Gap, your Adidas, your Nike store, just Saks Fifth Avenue, high end, low end, everything is here and it's all outdoors. So you can enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the rays while you get your shopping fix. Got it. No, I mean, it seems like this entire area is just completely built to entertain. And keep them here, most importantly, you know. The casino doesn't want you to leave. If, you know, if you can stay here, shop, eat, sleep, and st literally stay in this little corridor, then I mean, that's what they want. And all these premium outlets, you know, you can do a day outside in the sunshine shopping, uh -huh. and then escape back to the hotel and enjoy the AC while you get some gambling in as well. Wow. Wow, it sounds like we probably should do a whole separate video just on this area because obviously we're talking about Awatuki and everything that you want to learn about, you know, work, eat, sleep, live, and play. But it sounds like work, eat, sleep, live, and play applies just to this little pocket of the reservation, casino, shopping center, resort area. This is wild. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're here at the uh, Phoenix Premium Outlets, which is really just south of Awatuki, next to the- Wild Horse Pass Casino. Thank you. Obviously, Piero's here, he's the <laughs> expert. Man, this place is just crazy. Like, you wouldn't think this is out here in the middle of the desert, basically, but I feel like I'm in any other urban setting. I feel like I stepped foot in Las Vegas just now where the, yeah, casino entertainment and now shopping vibe. I mean, we've got every single store you can imagine here. Lids, get your Wetzel's pretzels, every, you know, you've got your Blue Ralph Lauren, Polo, everything, man, this is crazy. All right, guys, so that was, 
was the tour of Awatuki, ending here at the Premium Outlets. Piero, thanks for the, the showing. Absolutely. I mean, there's gotta be a million other things that we haven't looked at or touched on yet. So bottom line, if you are thinking about moving or relocating here to Awatuki or anywhere else in the greater Phoenix area, make sure you pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot an email, send that text message. Days, nights, weekends, we've got your back when moving here to Awatuki in the greater Phoenix area in Arizona. And until we do the next video, guys, we will catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one.